In this video, we'll walk through creating a backup copy job to our Island Cloud repository. In my case, I'm going to be creating a backup copy job of my local backup job called Local Backup Job. Uh, taking a look down here at the statistics, I can see that this job runs every night at 9 p.m. Uh, and it also lasts for about a minute and a half or so or to a minute. This is just a small lab environment on my side, so you'll probably see more than this on your end there, and you want to keep note at how long your job usually takes. Uh, so to get started, we'll go over to Jobs, and then we'll click Backup Copy up here at the top, and we'll give the Backup Copy job a name. I'm just going to use Backup Job Test, and you can give it any description that you want. Next, we will configure the sync interval period. This designates how often the backup copy job will look for a local backup to copy. Right now, the job is set to search for new backup files every night at midnight, but since my job usually runs around 9 and only lasts for about a minute, I'm going to set this to 9 p.m. Your local job may usually run for about an hour or two hours though, and in that case, you may want to set this time to when your local job typically finishes. You can also change the number of days in between each run. You may want to do this if you want your backup copy job to run every other day or once a week. And then we also might want to do it for the first initial backup file. Since that job's larger and usually takes longer to complete, you may want to give yourself extra time and then lower this once you have the first backup completed. Next, we'll add our virtual machines to the job, which we can do from the infrastructure, from the backup files, or from the jobs. And I like to do jobs, basically saying anything that happens in the local backup job here will be copied over to the Island Cloud repository. On the target page, we'll set our cloud repository as the target for the job. Uh, we'll know it's the right one and has cloud repository there in parentheses. And then we'll come the restore points to keep, which is the number of backups to hold on the Island Cloud repository. You can increase or decrease just depending on the storage you have available. I'm going to leave it at seven and come to archival backups. Here we can set the job to generate weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly backups. And using the middle column, we can indicate how many backups of each period we want to keep. We can use the schedule button to decide the day and time to make a backup. Keep in mind that each archival backup is saved as a full VBK file and can take up a large amount of space. So I'm going to disable this on my job and click next. If you bought a WAN accelerator with iLAN, we can enable that here. Otherwise, we'll just hit next. Under the Schedule tab, we can set a window for the job to be paused, preventing bandwidth usage during production hours. For instance, I can select the blocks between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and disable any network activity on this job. So right now, the job will only run during the purple time blocks. In my case, I'm just going to re-enable everything and I'll hit Apply here. And we get the last summary page. I'm going to go ahead and leave this job enabled when I click Finish. And that will allow my backup copy job to start processing its first backup. This first run will be a full backup and typically takes a significant amount of time to complete depending on the size of the backup files. The job's now enabled so I'll take a look at the statistics just so I can follow along with the progress of the job. Okay I can see some movement here it looks like it saved some of the files in the cloud repository and it's getting ready to start sending some data here and yeah there it goes. So we'll let this job run here. Up at the top, we can kind of see some overall statistics for the job. Uh, but now we just need to wait for that to finish. In our next video, we will walk through accessing and restoring from backup copy files in the cloud repository.